Hey, this is Mark Williams of Swine Life Barbecue. Today I'm going to show you my favorite burger recipe. Now you know we love prime rib at Swine Life headquarters, so why not incorporate all those flavors in a good cheeseburger? So what I have here is a little bit of butter, thyme, garlic, rosemary, all those great flavors. We're going to baste these burgers as they're cooking on the outlaw. Of course, you got to have the onions and mushrooms. Top it with a little provolone cheese on a good bun. That's a heck of a burger. Let's get started. So the first thing we have to do is get these burgers seasoned. Now all we have is 80-20 ground beef. They're padded out to half pound patties. And we're gonna get that prime beef on them. All those great flavors go pretty heavy. Just get them seasoned up. Got them on a cooling rack just to make it a little easier to get these transported around. We're gonna cook them on this rack. Again, these are no flip burgers. Get them flipped over, same thing. Hit them with that prime beef. So we got our burger seasoned. I got a little onions, mushrooms, some Kerrygold butter on top. We're just gonna season these the same way. Got that salt, pepper, garlic, same thing here. Have two sticks of Kerrygold butter, some garlic, rosemary, thyme. Make it how you like it. Again, just a little bit of seasoning. So we got the outlaw fired up behind us with some royal oak charcoal. We're gonna be running about 300 degrees a day. It's time to get this on and get to cooking. So this outlaws came right up to 300. Get our burgers placed right here in the middle. Get our onions and mushrooms on here. Of course, we got our butter. Again, these are no flip burgers. We're not gonna touch them, but I am gonna get a temp probe in them just so we keep them in check. We'll let these go about 20 minutes and then we're gonna start basting that butter with them. So we got the burgers on Outlaw. You know we gotta make a good horseradish mayo to go with these. So what I have here is a half a cup of mayo, two tablespoons of sour cream, tablespoon of black pepper. Might be a little heavy, but I like it. A tablespoon of chives, three tablespoons of prepared horseradish, and then one teaspoon of apple cider vinegar. All we're gonna do is get this incorporated. And you make this ahead of time. The longer it sits in the fridge, the better it is. Of course, we got to season it up a little bit. Salt, pepper, garlic, and that's it. We'll get this in the fridge and let it rest. All right, these burgers have been on for about 20 minutes. I basted them about 10 minutes ago. We're gonna go ahead and baste them again. Say this is a pretty slow cook for a burger, but that's what makes them so good. Smell all that garlic, that rosemary, that thyme. Starting to get good color. Smelling good, smelling good. Get the lid shut. We'll baste them again here in about 10 or 15 minutes. Been another 15 minutes. Burgers are sitting at about 127. Done a little rearranging just so we can get a little bit more color on them. Butter caramelizes, browns up a little bit on top of them. We got about 10 more degrees to go. We'll hit 138. We'll top them with the onions and mushrooms, put some cheese on them, and then we'll be building a burger. So these burgers hit 135. I'm gonna go ahead and start getting them topped. We're gonna try to nail a perfect medium doneness on these. So I wanna get ahead of it. Got our onions and mushrooms. Simple as just getting them, topping them right there. You may knock some off, but that's okay. One more time with that rosemary and butter. Then we're gonna hit it with two slices of provolone cheese. It's gonna be the glue that holds these toppings on. Get the lid shut, a few more minutes. They'll hit about 143, we're getting them off. So these burgers hit about 143, 145. Once they rest, they're gonna be perfect medium. So we're gonna go ahead, slide these beauties right off. Oh man, all that cheese is melted, packed full of flavor. Beautiful burger. Give them just a few minutes of rest, but check that out. Man, that's a burger. Get them covered up. Just as a quick recap, we started off with a three pound pack of 80-20 ground beef. Broke it up into six portions, half pound patties, got them padded out, seasoned them with some prime beef, and then got them on the outlaw. What makes this recipe different is it's a no flip. We didn't touch them. We basted them with that butter. We had all the rosemary, garlic, and onions. Of course, it had the mushrooms and onions cooking on the side. Now it's time to get it all put together and see what this burger's all about. So as far as putting this burger together, it don't get much simpler. We got our horseradish mayo right here. Get us a dollop on the bread. Smear it around like so. Do the same for the top bun. Simply we're gonna grab this one front and center just cause it looks like it's begging to be dived into. Put the lid on it. That's a pretty burger. So now it's time to cut it open. Get that reveal shot, see if we've done a good job. Go right down the middle. Woo, check that out. Perfect medium. Juice is pouring out. I know this is gonna be a messy bite, but we're gonna go in, give it a go. Man, that looks good. That is perfect. Mmm, holy smokes. There's a reason this is my favorite burger. Got all the great beef flavor. Of course, that prime beef brings that umami flavor. Got the mushrooms, got the onions. I love horseradish. Got a little carbs in that bread. That's the perfect bite right there. That is a delicious burger. That's a wrap for us today at Swine Lock. Y'all got to give this recipe a try. Hey, we cooked on an outlaw stick burner today, but if y'all want a different twist on it, we cooked this recipe for Grilla Grills on their channel. 
Go check it out. Gorilla Grills on YouTube. Same recipe, same great burger. Y'all give it a shot. Y'all got any questions, shoot us a message on Facebook or Instagram. And as always, like and subscribe to the channel, and we'll see y'all next time.